Here we have some word problems uh, that are about distances and rates and times, like uh, how fast a car is going or how long it takes to get somewhere. These problems are all based on this formula, distance equals rate times time. Some people call this the DIRT formula because of the three letters that we use. Um, this is going to come up in your math classes over and over again. When you need to solve those really hard word problems about a train leaves one city at one time and another train, train leaves another city at another time, when do they pass each other? It's this formula that they're all based on. In these word problems, we're going to start with the most basic types of things, uh, although there are three varieties that you're going to see in these problems. One variety is where you have to find the distance, and that's pretty easy. It's just rate times time. This formula can be kind of manipulated and twisted around to show you that um, you can also find a rate. The rate is going to be the distance divided by the time. And you can also use it to find the time. And the time is going to be the distance divided by the rate. So those are three versions of the same formula that you're going to be using. So let's let's see what this first one says. Diane went for a drive in her new car. She drove for six hours, so that's our time, at a speed of 38.4 miles per hour. That's our rate. For how many miles did she drive? How many miles? That's distance. So we're trying to find distance. And distance equals rate times time, right? So rate is 38.4 and time is 6. So that's the trick with these. You got to pick these out and then use the right formula. So 38.4 times 6. I'm just going to do the multiplication quickly here. 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 8 is 48, 49, 50. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 5 is 23. So we got 23 or 4, but we have one decimal place here. So 230.4. And this is how many miles did she drive? So that's miles. All right, let's look at the next one. It says, a tortoise is walking in the desert. It takes 7 minutes, so that looks like time, to walk 8.75 meters. That looks like distance. And we want to know what is its speed. So speed is rate. Now there's a couple of ways you can think about this. You can go back up here and say, ah, rate is distance divided by time. And just plug those things in. Another way to think about this is speed, well, often when we're talking about cars in the United States, we think of miles per hour. But it's distance per time unit. Our distance here is meters. So we're going to have meters per, and in this case, the time unit is minute. So meters per minute. So that's going to be distance divided by time, or meters divided by minutes. So our rate equals uh, seven, sorry, 8.75 meters <clears throat> divided by seven minutes. So let's do that division, 8.75 divided by seven. There's one seven in eight and leaves one. How many sevens in 17? Well, two, I think. We better put the decimal point up here. So that's 14 and that leaves 335 sometimes. So 1.25 is our rate. And the way we would express this is 1.25 meters per minute. That is the rate. All right, let's try one more. This one says, Maria went for a drive in her new car. She drove at a speed of 56 miles per hour. So that's our rate for 358.4 uh, miles. That looks like distance. For how many hours did she drive? So we're trying to find time. So you may want to jot these down in your notes, but that formula for time is distance divided by rate. So let's do that. Our time equals 358.4 divided by 56. And you could do that on a calculator. I don't have one handy right now, so I'm just going to crunch this out the old-fashioned way. 
let's see, how many 56s in 35? None. 358. Oh, boy. So I think there's six. Let's try that. So six times six is 36. Six times five is 30 plus three is 33. That looks right. And then we'll subtract eight minus six is two, five minus three is two, so I get 224 there. How many 56s in 224? Let's see, maybe four. Oh, I better put my decimal point up here. Six times four is 24. Four times five is 20 plus two is 22. Aha, it comes out even. So 6.4, and what we were trying to find was time. And because our rate was miles per hour, we know our time unit is hours. So when we give that answer, we'll give it as 6.4 hours. So that is a little bit of work with these distance, rate, and time problems.